What is up YouTube? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, I'm Michaela, and if you're returning, welcome back. I always appreciate to have you here. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider to be a subscriber by clicking on the subscription button and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified on my next videos. Can you tell that I've been looking a lot at the new series on Netflix called Hollywood? I was feeling the Hollywood vibe today, so hence the red lip and the side parts. <laughs> I just love a good 50s or 40s look, so hence the red lip and look today. Today I have some beauty favorites for you, I usually do that once a month. Um, and since it's becoming spring, we all want to get some tan, right? Uh, especially we who live in the north. And I believe it's going to be a bit of a tan and glow theme this time. So I'm going to start off with one of my longtime favorites. And this is the St. Moritz Tan Mousse, and this is in the medium color. The great thing about this one, it's just foolproof, and that's what I like. It has like this instant color, so you can see where you kind of apply it, and you're making sure that you not get patchy areas, or that you're missing areas, or that, um, yeah, <laughs> that you look weird. So this is a great foolproof self-tanner, in my opinion. So I usually just rub this on my body, wait a few minutes, and then I put on just something loose, like a PJ or something, and I usually just sleep with this and shower in the morning and I... As you know, I'm a really fair skinned girl, so it doesn't look like I'm very tan, but yeah, just a hint of a little glow, just to seem like you've been out in the sun. This is a hot tip. St. Moritz one, the St. Moritz, Moritz mousse, actually the instant tanning mousse. Great tip. My next one is also in the self-tanning department and I recently bought this, I got this a few days ago actually so it's a new favorite of mine but it's the Saint-Tropez Why do all self-tanners have something with Saint, Saint-Tropez, Saint-Moritz? Just sounds luxurious I guess but this one is the Saint-Tropez the self-tan purity natural glowing skin bronzing water face mist long name but the good thing about this is that it's just a spray just like a normal face spray and you just spray this on clean skin and it smells really good actually it's just um i don't know so it smells really kind of victoria's secret body spray to me if you know what i mean like really fruity and fresh uh, it does kind of turn over to the more self-tanning smell after a while but not as strong as your normal self-tan probably this one is super easy i just spray like once every other day on my face and my decolletage decolletage is that a word? just to get a nice and even glow and yeah it's probably just me seeing it but when I'm not wearing makeup you can see it even more I believe um, so you just get a natural kind of sun-kissed look to your face and that's what we like right? if you're as lazy as I am when it comes to self tanning and beauty routines this is just a great way to look a bit more alive a bit more outdoorsy and fresh. And while in that department, I also have this Estee Lauder day wear, and you can see this is actually kind of, I've worn this a lot. So it's actually just SPF 15, and you know that I usually wear SPF 50. So I usually just put like a sun sunscreen with 50 underneath this, and I just use this on top as kind of, because this is a tinted moisturizing day cream. And it gives you a really, really nice sun-kissed look. So as I said, this, all of the beauty products today has something to do with glow or being sun-kissed or tanned. So yeah, this just gives you a sheer tint, just this really nice bronzed looking natural look. It's not covering at all, but it, uh, somehow it just makes my skin look better. I don't know, I just really love it. This is also supposed to make your skin better like while you're using it, so that's a good thing. Multi-use, multi-functioning products. Good, 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 good. So, but I do recommend kind of complementing or wearing this together with a stronger sunscreen because 15 is not enough. So yeah, great one, great alternative if you just don't want to have like a full coverage foundation during the summer, just to get this kind of nice sun-kissed little look to your face. This is a great little option. Mm. My Lumine 
face spray or a face mist, I guess you call it, Arctic Spring Water Facial Mist. And Lumine, for you who don't know this brand, is a Finnish brand. And what is great about this brand is that they're really conscious to allergies and stuff like that. Because I mentioned to you before that I have really sensitive skin. And the Finnish people are really good at all types of allergies and just making products that are not kind of irritating or allergenic. So this is a great facial mist spray. And you see it's almost empty. So I use this frequently even on top of makeup and the indoor air also makes your skin really dry so this is a great thing uh, to just put on your face during the day whenever you feel like you need a bit of a moisture splash <laughs> so i really love lumine i love all their products actually because as i said they're really good to your skin and they're kind of developed with sensitive and allergic prone skin in mind so lumine from finland good brand love this spray they also have it in the vitamin C version if you want to get like more of a radiant look. Last but not least, and I showed you this in my review of the NYX palette. I got a new moisturizer, no, a highlighter, not moisturizer, highlighter. And I think I said that it was the Mary Luminizer in that video, but it was partially that because I usually put this underneath and then I just put the Mary Luminizer on top. But this is the Glow Drops from L'Oreal and this is called the Glow Mon Amour Highlighting Drops. So it's a really really cute bottle, really really golden and nice. So if you see here it's just like a pipette, is that a drop, drop, we call it pipette in uh, Swedish. I guess we call it droplet in English, whatever. You can just put some of your, on your cheekbone just to enhance the glow that you have gotten from all your self-tanning products and you see that it's just crazy good that's like the best look in the summer I guess <laughs> just bronzy and all glowy just fresh looking just gonna show you, I'm gonna swatch it I guess, or whatever you call it on my hand. Just to show you how good this is. I think they have this in actually in multiple colors, but I went for the one called Sparkling Love. You see here? It's just crazy luminous and gorgeous. But yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So that was it for this time, you guys. I hope you have gotten some great tips on beauty products for this month. Uh, if you have tried some of these, let me know. If you have some other great tips that you want to share, please feel free to type them down here below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I would love for you to join my community here on YouTube. And if you would like to help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers, please consider to hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified on my next video. Until next time, stay safe, take care, bye!